What is up guys, it's Tom from Tech Time and today we're going to go over the apps edge panels for your Galaxy Note 8. Using these is going to help you speed up a lot of the processes that you would have to go and find apps and different phone numbers and different processes. It's actually pretty cool the setup that they have here. I never really got into the apps edge before, I felt like it was always faster doing other things. This year I like it a lot. So you open it up by that little tab on the side and then you come in you have your apps edge. This is what I have set up right here. I have my apps edge. This is all apps. Then you have your people's edge. This is quick ways to call somebody. It's like speed dial. Then I have my soft key edge. This is one that I downloaded. So this will bring you to the recent apps that you used. Or you can bring you home, back, screen capture, and then lock the phone. I like this feature a lot. Ends up being super easy to do things so then I got sports I follow football a lot so I have my sports so I can check the scores real quick and that's what I have as my edge but right here you get the settings button now this is where you can really get into it and change a lot of things you have your apps edge your people's edge your soft key edge your sports now if you hold it down you can rearrange the way that they're set up if you want you know your people's edge to be in front of the apps edge you take it and you swap it like that I like the setup that they're in right now I actually wouldn't mind this one being first probably apps edge being second so that's pretty good you reorder them like that you go through here and there's a lot of other ones you can choose from you got tasks clipboard reminder device maintenance is a good one if you don't know how to get into the vi to device maintenance or you don't want to have to go into the settings every time or use the Bigsby to optimize your phone this is a good way to have everything right at your fingertips you get your weather you got quick tools and, the, and the, the list goes on and on and from here you can download more this is where it really gets interesting because there's a ton in here that are really really good you got edge maps for Google Maps you got uh, multi window so you can run a bunch of different windows with different apps. Um, Samsung implements their own multi-window thing that you can use. They got Message Pros. They got the calculator panel. That one's pretty cool. I've used that for a little while. Timeline for Facebook if, you, if you're a huge Facebook user. They got the volume panel. Calendars. Now plan. And the list goes on and on and on. This is the top 500. You can go to top free ones. The top paid ones. New ones. Settings panel. See now you're gonna want to. They don't tell you the rating on them, so you're gonna want to click on it, and then right there, it will tell you the um, rating out of five stars. You can scroll down and you can review the reviews. It's nice having set at a touch. It's nice having settings at a touch instead of going into sub menus, especially since Bisbee has the settings menu changed. So there you go. You can read some reviews about them, things like that. There's a ton to choose from. I mean a ton. There's a ton of free ones, a ton of paid ones. This one's pretty cool. Dices for the edge. You can actually roll dice. It's a pretty cool little game. Um, there's so many in here. It really is. So you go back. Now, you go into here. You're back in your main setting. You go to handle settings. Now, if you didn't catch that, you're in your regular. Let's get out of here. So you go in. Back to the beginning, you click this, then you hit your settings down here. Now you're in this setting again. This screen where you can choose which ones you want. You can download them, you can turn it completely off if you want with this little toggle right here. Or you hit this little three dots up on the top where it allows you to reorder them, uninstall some, or handle settings. Handle settings is going to allow you to change it from right to left. Now you can have it on the left side, or you can have it back on the right side. Now you can take it right here and you can bring it to the top of the screen. You can bring it to the bottom of the screen. If, it, if you have smaller hands, the bottom of the screen is going to work out better for you. You put it at the bottom of the screen. It's pretty cool. They can also, you can make it larger so it takes up, you know, maybe a quarter of the screen. Or you can make it a lot smaller so it takes up a tenth of the screen. Me, I like it somewhere in the middle around that size. Now right here is the transparency. The lower it is, the more solid the color. The higher it is practically invisible it's almost useless 
I keep it somewhere in the middle so I can see it, but I don't want it too intrusive. Then you can click vibrate, to turn the vibration on and off if that's something that you want to feel every time you hit the edge panel. I like it so it knows that I know I feel that vibration, I hit it. That's just a cool thing. I've never seen anybody really talk about the handle settings, being able to move it from side to side. It's a pretty cool little uh, touch right there because not everybody wants it in the same spot. Not everybody has hands that can reach up and swipe it from here or swipe it from there. Some people want to be down here and swipe it quick. Come back out and here's my, here mine is right here. Click it and there it is. This soft key edge panel is really, really good. I'm telling you, when you guys get it, if you guys get it, you're going to like it a lot. A simple touch of the button brings you home. So, you know, you're on, you're on another screen and you don't want to hit the home button or whatever the case may be, home. You want to go back, you can go back. So we'll, we'll be in Google Chrome. Back. Back right out of it. It's pretty cool to have that right there. You can hit a screen capture. So now you're on, you know, you're on slick deals. Oh, wow, look at this. We've got a good deal right here. Click it, screen capture it. It's simple, it's easy. Then you have your settings on the bottom, obviously, to crop it right on it, do whatever you will. Just a quick video about the edge panel, guys. I don't know how many of you guys, you actually use it. I like it a lot. This is another cool feature, being able to merge two apps together by a touch of a button, and then you, got, you open it up, and you got your YouTube on the bottom, and your maps on top or whatever app you may choose it's a cool setting and it's being able to have it at the touch of the button right there on the side is perfect i just wanted to go uh over this real quick what's up guys i just want to end the video for you sorry uh, filming on my galaxy s8 and never seen it happen before but it heated up so much shut the camera down so the end of that app edge video was cut off right at the end when I was finished talking. Um, hope this video works out for you guys. Like I said, the apps panels is a great thing to have. They work out really good, the edge panels. You can use them for tons of different things. There's so many developers that implement their own style into them. For like I said, maps or calculators, the soft key button, scores on games, calendars, uh, timelines on your Facebook, your Instagram, whatever it may be. It's a really great feature and you know what if you're going to use these phones you might as well use them for every feature that you're paying for you're paying a thousand dollars for these phones might as well get the most out of them that's all i want to say hit that like button leave those comments and hit that subscribe button guys let's get these subscriptions going hit that notification bell so when i drop a new video you guys will see it all right catch you on the next one later